We are now joined by Texas Governor Greg Abbott, who's live at the state capitol tonight. Governor, first of all, thank you for being with us. We've got a lot of questions from our viewers, and I want to make sure that we get to all of those so we can jump right into it. Viewer Jeremiah Singh asking, if the numbers of cases are steadily going back up, why are we opening businesses? Yeah, great question. A very important answer for people to know about, and that is, what we, what, one thing we do in Texas is we continue to test more people every day. And uh, for example, uh, over the entire time this pandemic has occurred, more than half of our testing has taken place in just the past two weeks. Because more people are tested, there are more people who test positive for COVID-19. Here's the important metrics to look at though. It's not the number of people testing positive, it is uh, the, the percentage rate of the people who test positive. Understand in, in mid-April, the percentage rate of the people tested uh, was about 10% positive. The percentage rate today, only about 5%. So the percentage of people testing positive for COVID-19 has been cut in half. That's important, but even more important than, than that is the hospitalization rate. The hospitalization rate continues to decline. And again, that's not the number of hospitalizations, but the percentage of people who are hospital, hospitalized as a result of COVID-19. Remember the dire circumstances we saw in New York, New Jersey, and other places with a lack of hospital beds. We've never dealt with that situation, uh, whether it be in Waco or Dallas or Houston or wherever. We have plenty of hospital beds to make sure everyone who contracts COVID-19 will be able to be taken care of at a local hospital. Governor, we're hearing of pack stores, of shoppers, and even some employees not wearing facial coverings. Over the weekend, the coastal beaches were <clears throat> packed, sometimes people standing shoulder to shoulder. That has to be concerning to you. How do we really enforce social distancing? Well, first remember this, and that is the only way that we will be able to continue to open up is if people follow the, the best safety practices to prevent the spread of the coronavirus. One of, the, one of the highly recommended ways to do that is for people to wear face masks uh, while they're out and about. Face masks uh, and making sure you're not touching your face with your hands are really the two primary ways that you can ensure you will not get COVID. So uh, we highly recommend people wear face masks. Uh, on the coastal beaches, in my announcement today, I, I made clear that the same standard applies to beaches as it does parks. And, and that is uh, no gatherings of more than five people unless it's just your family members. Consider wearing a mask if possible. We realize on the beach uh, or in a park, it may not be uh, the, the best thing to do, but I did see a lot of pictures, uh, people on beaches this weekend in Galveston and places like that where people were wearing masks, doing the best practices to make sure they slow the spread. If everybody comes out all of a sudden and starts gathering and socializing together like they were before, let me tell you something. There will be a spike in the spread of COVID-19 and that would cause mitigation measures to have to be used. Now, we know that restaurants and retailers are back open on a limited capacity and you just announced today that salons and gyms will also be following that on Friday. Now, IHME models suggest that Texas is going to see a rise in deaths up until August and in some larger areas like Dallas are still seeing some big spikes in cases. So is it too soon to reopen the state? Well, it's, it's funny because you mentioned that model. The last time I looked at it was two days ago. Uh, and they said that the spike in deaths uh, occurred several days ago in Texas. But at, the, at that time, two days ago, the spike in deaths they had for Texas, which was about 50 at the time, uh, was less than the 256 they predicted just a few weeks before that. So that model and these other models have been proven to be catastrophically incorrect. All we know is this one thing. And that is, if you look at the numbers in the state of Texas with regard to where the rates are going, they're going in the right direction for one single reason. And that's because people have been using uh, these best distancing strategies, going out when you need to go out, but staying at home otherwise. Those are still the best strategies. You need to go out, for example, to get a haircut, but you don't need to go out and get a haircut without a face mask. You need to go out and buy groceries. You know, during this entire time, grocery stores and other essential services have been open while we have been reducing the spread of COVID-19. If people maintain good distancing practices, we can open up more business and make sure that we do not spread COVID-19 even more. Well, Governor Abbott, thank you for joining us today. We did have a lot of questions, and I wish we could have got to all of them, but there's just not enough time in the day. So, again, I do I'll be back want again. to thank you. <laughs> Perfect.
Sure. Thank you.